Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mike. It's Yi. You're watching Beyond Science 2. Thanks for joining me today, Yi. Oh, I'd love to be here. Well, uh, this story just broke. Um, Elon Musk is basically has basically unveiled his plan for, for us to live on Mars. This is pretty interesting because we've seen movies kind of like The Martian and what was the other one? The, grav the one with gravity, the with them. Um... Gravity. Gra oh, gravity. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, yeah. they weren't on Mars. They were just on a space station. Sure, yeah. But you see a lot more of these like space movies coming out and like going to Mars is becoming like a real thing. It's not just some sci-fi thing. And Elon Musk is basically saying, I'm going to make it happen for you guys. Yeah, so he basically like planned it out step by step at how he's going to do it. So mm -hmm. he's saying he's going to uh, be able to get to Mars, Mars really totally quick. In 2018, he wants to launch the first, um, I think, unmanned mm -hmm. spacecraft over there and then 2020. Right. And then eventually, here's his, here's his grand vision. He wants Mars travel to be very affordable, mm -hmm. like $200,000 per person. That's like, a, you know, that's a really fancy supercar. It is. It is also a down payment for a house. Yeah. For in some cases, uh, you could buy a house in some places, well, a small apartment maybe yeah. in some un unpopular area. But yeah, that's a lot of money, but not that much if you consider going to Mars. Right. And and the uh, the travel time is not that long either. Mm -hmm. so I was thinking like like a in, year in the Martian. How long did it take them? It took them a while. I yeah. Think. But here it's eighty days. Eighty. Days, so that's like less than three months. Right. I think in the Martian it took them years. Or maybe one year, or two, I don't know, because he had to grow a bunch of potatoes. So I'm trying to measure by how much potato he grew. But um, if you love, if you know, let us know in the comments. But so 80 days, that's not that's not bad. And he says he wants to cut it down to a month. Yeah. Like that's that's ridiculously short if you consider how far Mars is. Yeah. And by the way, at this very moment in time, if you want to travel to Mars. Like just theoretically, it will cost you ten billion dollars. Yeah. Ten billion dollars. <laughs> what are you gonna do on Mars? Yeah, and you're just like, hey guys. Like, hey Mars. I'm just gonna uh, chill here. I, I guess I'm gonna investigate that face thing, and then, and then, <laughs> and then there's stuff in there. It's I'm like, gonna leave. You know, literally play mind games in your mind for the rest of eternity. So, but here's the thing: mm -hmm. if you okay, this is the crazy part. Mm -hmm. All right, if you want to be one of the first to go to Mars, mm -hmm. right? Elon Musk is saying that you're, you're gonna die. You're basically gonna die. You're gonna be ready to die. Yeah. Somebody asked him, would you go? And he's like, I'd no. like to see my kids grow up. What does that mean? So everyone else is going, like, he's like, oh, it's okay, because you all sign up for this. But you know what? People will go, you know what? They just want to be like the first man on Mars. Would you do it? I, well, let me think about it, because maybe, because at that point, by the time this is all done and ready to go, I'm gonna be pretty. I'm gonna be old. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. Okay, so you would consider being one of the first waves to go to Mars? Yeah, I would. Just because, like, I thought I wasn't that type, but now that I think about it, I'm like, what is, it, what is here for me on Earth that I, I need? Maybe it's good for me to help contribute to a new planet, because you know our future generation can move there. But what are you contributing? <laughs> what are you contributing? You know, if I don't, you're, you're basically a lab rat yeah, that he's sitting over there. And he's like, if you don't die. Then I'll send more people. You're the beta test. Well, yeah, but without the beta test, how do you get the final result? And then, and then, you know, better that I make my sacrifice than a lot of other people. You know what? Know. How about we sacrifice some mass murderers? I'm not saying that I'm, I support capital punishment or anything like that, but that's like if I was a government, I'd be like, hmm, I'm gonna take people I was already gonna because execute. They won't even make it to Mars. Just kill each other before they get there. Well. Well, well, I don't know. You could buckle them down or something, but that my issue is I think that they probably didn't want to do that because they want the people in case they get to Mars to be like fine people who will well, populate. Well, obviously, like people, there are a lot. Of, obviously, there are people who will definitely want to go because mm -hmm. this is they want to be like, yo, I'm gonna go down in history as one of the first people on Mars. I want to do. It. I'm a, I'm a explorer. I'm gonna. I want to do it. I, I got a couple of problems with that. First of all, I still don't understand why Mars. That's true. I mean, you're, it's not like you're walking around on Mars. It's not like Mars has a nice, you know, climate that you, that has fresh air. No, but where else though? That's the thing. It's literally the least awful option out of everything. But else. what I'm saying is that you're basically just building a space planet colony on another planet, mm -hmm. right? That you could literally just do that any planet you want. I guess I guess you could do that. I mean, Mars is relatively close to us. Yeah. Um, war. <laughs> I mean, well, you could just stay here we because could. what's the difference? No, I think it's all a precaution. Elon Musk is saying that 
something will probably happen to us as an earth will probably become uninhabitable so let's no. have a backup option I, I get that i get that but my, my mm -hmm. question is this mm -hmm. all right let's say earth becomes uninhabitable may, okay. may, maybe due to pollution maybe mm -hmm. the air ozone is destroyed sure. is that way worse than what mars is does mars have a better ozone than us um you know that's a good question but like i said the worst case scenario like what like earth is destroyed yeah at but, least you can live on mars okay i i okay my, my all right so i get i get diversifying right because let's not put our eggs into one, one earth basket. <laughs> let's let's put some eggs on mars let's, right. let's put some eggs in alpha centauri where we can get there whatever yeah so i, I understand that point of it i just don't it's, it's always about mars you know what i want to live on jupiter can we make that happen we can't Right. Because out of all of the planets, Mars is most similar to Earth at this point. Like Mercury is super cold. Jupiter, you'll get blown away. Venus, you'll get blown away by those like you know gaseous things. Like there's no those planets aren't inha aren't habitable right now. It's just it's just kind of funny that we're trying to inhabit a planet, but we're inhabiting it by going there and living in a bubble. That's true. Like we're not no really planet. inhabiting it. We're just attaching something to it that we're in. That's true. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, not like we're going there or walking around. No. It's not like when the aliens came in and, and you know, uh, Independence Day and they're like, yeah, when we colonize you guys, we're just gonna be walking around breathing your air. Yeah. We, we were lit liter literally living in like a, like, a, like a space station. Yeah, yeah. For the rest of our lives. I, I honestly feel like if it was possible, they should develop a technology that propels us so fast that we can actually get to that planet that is actually most similar to Earth. You know, you know what I'm gonna do? Hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Let's say I can spend two hundred thousand dollars to live on Mars. Mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't want to. Oh. I wouldn't want to. You because, wouldn't. No, I wouldn't because I don't want to live in a glass shell for like two hundred. It's not gonna be good. So yeah, I'm gonna wait till we can maybe go to like, like kind of what you were mentioning. Let's go find a planet that we can actually live without wearing a, you know, spacesuit. Yeah, there's oxygen, there's water, similar to Earth. Yeah, but possibly better. And you I'm know? glad I'm at an age, I'm, I'm like, I'm in my early 30s, so I'm glad I'm in an age where uh, I, I, think, I think Earth can still last till I die. I also think that. I also think that. Like, I, I mean, it's not like we're so far off in age, but it's more like I think that for sure it will be able to last until both of us are very old. Yeah. Yeah, but then beyond that, I cannot say. So I don't know. I, so I'm gonna turn this down if it was ever offered to me. I mean, it would never be offered to me, but I would not <laughs> want to do this. Money. But it's kind of crazy how they how they're doing it. They can only send something to Mars every couple of years because every 26 months, because of the, some crazy they uh, align. align if, they, if they're far apart, you right. can't do it. They can only send uh, how many people at once? They can only send like about, about 100, 100 yep. at <clears> once, and you have to travel for super long. And by the way, NASA is still researching how long-term space travel is gonna affect the human body. Cause you can't just be like, I'm gonna hop onto a spaceship and live there for a month. Something could happen. Yo, but you know what would be kind of crazy? Mm -hmm. Let's say we send the people there, right? right. And let's say our babies are born and somehow <laughs> our babies are adapt adaptable to the Martian climate. Think about that. That'd be cool. That would be cool, but that would be more like an X-Men movie. No, that's, that's more like an under, what's that water world? Remember the world is covered in water, then all of a sudden humans start adapting to it. But that takes like generations. It can't I'm saying, be... Yeah, I'm saying let's say, let's say they're born on Mars. Yeah, sure. And then like 300 years later, no, they can walk outside. That could happen. That'd be kind of that could that could actually happen. And and then they could pop, they could actually just live on Mars. But according to like stupid things like uh, Basic Instinct, not Basic Instinct. What was that movie called with Arnold Schwarzenegger? That, Total Recall. Yeah, that's what what am I thinking? Basic Instinct. That's like Sharon Stone. <laughs> I know exactly. Uh, Total Recall. Like that planet is not that good looking. Like here we got trees, we got water, we got like you know nice like over there. Even if you can't walk on Mars, you'd be like, like what's there to see? There's a red rock. There's another red rock. Like ooh. Well, if you watch Futurama, you can have a ranch on there, anyways. But let us know if you would go. Let's say this is offered to you, mm -hmm. free. You could be one of the first people on Mars with a high possibility of dying. Would you go? Let us know. Thanks for watching. Bye. See you.